the movie The Secret? Did you watch it, read it, practice it? Did you have any success with it? I had the tiniest bit of success, which I could just as simply not attribute it to The Secret. Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman. Thanks for joining us here today for the Let's Get Metaphysical show, and let's just jump right in. When the secret's telling you, all you have to do is focus on this stuff, and your world will become that way. If it happened for you, then you're probably not interested in the rest of this, but what if only a piece of it happened? Like, for instance, with me, I had made a vision board. I put a number of things on the vision board. One of them was going on an ocean liner on a cruise. Another one was getting to ride in a hot air balloon. Two things out of my whole big vision board. They both happened. I won a cruise in the company that with whom I was involved at the time. I got to go in a hot air balloon. And man, have you never been in one? They're loud. It's like you can't even carry on a conversation with somebody. But it's a really fantastic feeling. We were flying over the neighborhood, over friends' houses. And when we went to land, it was just a really fun experience. But what about the other 95% of stuff that was on my vision board? And the thing is, every morning, right, they tell you, you got to do this early in the morning while your conscious mind is out of the way. And then you got to do it last thing at night before sleep when your conscious mind is again out of the way. It won't stop you. Well, I did that every morning and every night. I used all five senses of my body to make every experience I wanted to happen, to make them all real. What was I seeing? What was I feeling? Was I drinking a drink? What was it? How did my room look? How did the yard look? Everything for three years, night and day. But all I got was the cruise and the hot air balloon. But why does it happen for some people, but it doesn't happen for other people? It's because of how you're choosing to live your life in the time that happens between the morning episode and the before bed episode. How you run your life. What am I talking about? Only... 5% of the thoughts that you're thinking and putting feeling to all day long, 5% is happening now in your conscious awareness. The other 95% of the thoughts running you all day long, running you all day long, happen in your subconscious mind, which means it's the same stuck thoughts you've been having day after day, year after year, maybe even decade after decade. So you're not being present. You're not having conscious awareness. The other thing is, how much did you really, really want to achieve those different goals that somehow came into your awareness? Were they your goals? Did they come from your parents, from your siblings, from your friends, from school, from your work? Or were they something in your heart that you really and truly wanted to make happen in your life? Because you're not going to realize Dreams that aren't yours, why would you? How would they serve you? You know that I love to read and I love to do audio books. And one of my, two of my favorite people in this realm, Rhonda Byrne, I have very many of her books. I think she's brilliant. And the best part of Rhonda Byrne is she spends 
time researching what's important to her. I do that in my life. Do you in your life? If there's a goal that you want to have, how do you contribute to it becoming real for you? Well, you know that I love Audible. And when I find a book in Audible that interests me, I also get the print book. Or sometimes I have the print book, and then I get it in Audible because I want to listen to it. I want it played every day, every night. The secret, however, she spent 10 years looking for the answers for her spiritual being for herself. And in her book, The Greatest Secret, which you can get on Audible, what I love is she's not just sharing, this is what I think, this is what I feel. She's sharing all these amazing spiritual teachers quoting, it's actors, it's not their voices, but it's their words. And that's what she's sharing in The Greatest Secret, the result of 10 years of exploration. And for me, boy, that made so much more sense than The Secret actually did. So when you go in and you take advantage of the gift from Audible, that's a 30-day free trial, you get to choose a book of your choice, an audiobook to download as your gift. You get 30 days to go all around. There are cool podcasts. There are all kinds of things available in Audible that you won't find any place else. And there's one other person who I was very grateful to interview. And I'll put the link in so you can go back to her interview. Dee Wallace, very famous actress, all kinds of movies but probably best known for being the mom in A.T. because that was the movie that launched her career. And the book is born. And I spent a year reading part of that every single day. I shared it with you. I frequently reintroduce you to Dee and to the shorts I made from her visit and to the session itself. And that's also going to be in the notes. You can also get born on Audible. The thing is, you have a choice about how you want to run your life. And these are two people who made the choice and then took action. You see, you can do all that imagining and feeling and virtualizing every morning and every night, like I did for three years. But where's your mind going during the rest of the day? And what kind of action are you taking to make that your reality? Because if all you do is think and wish and hope, that's never, ever going to manifest in your life as you desire it to. So you be sure you check the show notes for Dee's book and how to see the interview I did with her and for The Greatest Secret by Rhonda Fern. Again, I'm so glad you joined me here today. I am Reverend Allie Bierman. This is the Let's Get Metaphysical show. And in addition to Audible, go, so go ahead and join our Facebook group. Make a new friend, ask questions, get the extras I put in there make yourself and your desires known and when you join our community you get to have an opportunity to be on a live video call with me let's talk let's find out who you are what's important to you on your spiritual journey through life spirituality isn't just about sitting and meditating and it's definitely not about wishing and hoping. You listen to or watch any episode on our show page. And 
I remember nothing in your world ever, ever, ever happens outside of you. You think it does, but what's happening is you're picking up, you're perceiving electrical signals. Remember, you're an electromagnetic being of what's going to go into your seeing, into your hearing, into your smelling, into your touching, into your tasting. That doesn't happen outside. That happens when the signals get translated from impulses to sensations within. So enjoy that's capital I N, capital J O Y, every moment, because nothing in your world ever happens outside of you. It all happens in here. And I look forward to being here with you next time.